exactly two weeks after Zainab Habib, a student of Maitama Sula University, returned from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia after being detained since December 2018 on allegation of drug trafficking. We have come here to hear her story, the life in prison in Saudi Arabia. December the 26th, 2018, Zainab, her mother and sister, arrived in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for lesser Hajj. A few hours later, security operatives stormed a hotel in Medina, where she lodged alongside her mother, only to be arrested on allegation of drug trafficking. It is a situation that you can't explain how you felt. It's, uh, it's an inner feeling that cannot be um, voiced out until you pass through um, the situation, which I, I, couldn't, I can't wish anyone to pass through that experience that I passed through. Four months is like four years in Saudi Arabian prison to these 22-year-old students of Maitama Sula University in Kano. A prison is not like a home, so you won't ex, um, expect to be treated how you have been treated at home. So the treatment is just, just somehow. After several letters to the NDLEA, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and the Office of the Special Advisor to the President on Diaspora by Zainab's father. Investigations revealed that Zainab was framed by some staff of the Malam Amini Kanu International Airport, most of whom are clearing agents. I can tell you, in my presence, the people who were, con the people who were called, who walk on that, they confessed orally and written that, yes, they have, uh, they have known about that bug, and they said somebody brought the bug to them, they used my daughter's tack on that bag, and uh, there are text messages sent, communicated between both of them, that a particular bag, two bags, will be bring into, uh, will be brought to the airport. They should find a tag for them, and unfortunately, they use one of my daughter's tag to tag that uh, that bag. The process they use is that if a passenger will come with uh, with his or her luggage. They will use the information uh, on, on that passenger's passport and travel documents, your name, uh, everything, and then generate a tag. That tag, that they, uh, they will generate one tag. When they generate that one tag, they will delete your, your name, your information on the system, and then start afresh as if they made a mistake. The system permits that they will start afresh and generate your, your data again and produce a second tag in, in one person's name. And then, of course, if you open the system, it is only one name you will see. You will not see the second name will not be there. So that second tag is what they will use to tag on uh, the passenger's uh, uh, luggage. Then to make matters worse for Zainab, she was told by some persons to forget about going back to Nigeria, but she remained hopeful. There is one woman that told me that um, I should just forget about my family. I should just be praying because if you came inside the um, prison, you won't, you'll never go out. After four months in detention in Saudi Arabia, Zainab's fellow students stormed the Saudi consulate in Kano demanding her immediate release. They say she is innocent. Like many other students, Zainab Habib is now free, but her story would surely be in the history books of Maitama Sule University, especially looking at the fact that the release of Zainab was announced few hours after the students of this university stormed the Saudi consulate here in Kano. Idris Jubrin reporting for Channels Television News.